<laughs> oh my god, I can't. Their voices go perfectly together. Literally emotional, I don't know why. <laughs> oh my god. Is that the end? Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is Friday morning. Lauv's new album came out last night at midnight. I haven't listened to it yet because I, well, I had to wake up really early for school. It is 7.14 in the morning. I have calculus at eight and I just wanted to see if I have time to listen to this. I'm so excited. It's taken all of my courage and strength not to listen to this, like as I've been getting ready this morning because I wanted to like react to it. <gasps> I'm so ready. <laughs> Literally not a song that I don't like by him. Like every single one is good. The album is called How I'm Feeling. Okay, here we go. There are 21 songs. I'm only going to listen to the ones that I haven't heard yet, obviously, but first is Lonely Eyes. He has so many songs with lonely in the title. I, it's so him. <laughs> the first time she had her heart broken. Truth is, I don't mean to be That's a good line. He said, I only know because I have them too, or something like that. I don't remember. Dude, I love how this one, like, the chorus is like a constant, like, build up. Oh my god, that is amazing. I love this part. That, oh my god. That is true beauty right there. Oh my God. That was so perfect. Okay, next we have Believed. Actually though, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this while I'm driving. We're gonna listen to this one as I'm getting on the interstate. Let's see. That I took a plane out of this town. I should have believed in That's the one. Ooh. Wait, wait. Dude, that part sounds like Maddie Healy in I Like America. I love that so much. Ooh. That layering there. Oh, that's a nice ending. I really like that one. What's this? Billy. Ooh, different. Ooh. Oh. oh, this one is good. Oh. oh my god, oh my god. Hold on. Oh. Hold on, I just want to say something real quick. Hold on, let me change lanes. Oh my god, this one, Billy, this is my favorite so far. It, uh, mm, I love how it's different. It's like, I mean, they're all different, but like, it's unique, you know? You know? Oh, that, I can already tell that is going to stay one of my favorites. Oh, pretty. I love that. This man knows how to sing. His music makes me happy, like no matter what. I don't know if it's about like the way his voice sounds or like his beats to his songs. Canada featuring Alessia Cara. 
Amazing. He, oh, that was so pretty. What the f Alright, I guess we're moving on now. For now. I love him. I love him. boring and uh, like I really do believe he's one of the best artists out there because he's so well-rounded when it comes to it he's so good at like making music that he knows everyone's gonna like that song was simply just like okay hold on sweet and like pure and beautiful I just want to listen to it again but unfortunately we're gonna move on as soon as I make this turn Tell my mama. I'm thinking that I still short too. I can already say I haven't heard a song like this. He makes all of his music so different. Okay, continuing, continuing. I'm sorry. All the stress I put it on time. Oh my god, hold on. Y'all, when he does the high pitch at the end there. We already know he's so good at his high pitch, his high whatever you call it. He's so good at that in every single song, but this one hits different. what that song exactly was about like I don't know what I was listening to more of like the music and his singing more than like the lyrics I'm gonna play that song for my mom now like when I get home I'm gonna play that for my mom that's so sweet he's just talking about like tell my mom that I love her like I think that's such a great like message to put out there in a song like people don't do it enough at all I mean of course Drake did when he said I only love my bed and my mama I'm sorry but it definitely could be said more like people talk about their mamas they tell your mom that you love her if you have that opportunity to okay I know everyone's situation is different anyway gonna continue with sweatpants love that name oh. I love how 
we kind of started with the chorus in the beginning and then like now we're hearing it again and it's like like it started out really like chill and then now there's like a beat and I don't know this one is I don't know what kind of like mood to describe it as I really like it it's different it's like I literally say that about every song on here, <laughs> but it's true. They're all so different. Um, sweatpants. I love his lyrics in this one. I think that's what's sticking out to me. His lyrics. They're so good. I liked that chord right there when it went lower. Alright, we're making a turn, folks. It's gonna be a sharp one. Oh! I like that part where it kind of like cuts out and it sounds like he's singing like from inside of a bathroom or something. Yo, focus. Focus. There we go. Okay, next is... Oh, I... Mm, I don't even listen to BTS at all, but I know that they're like beautiful at singing. So, really excited for this one. Who? Featuring BTS. Okay, he can sing low too. I mean, we already knew, but I'm just saying like... together oh my god definitely have been sleeping on BTS because cuz this man sounds like something from up above I'm just saying what did I want to say about oh this song it's so deep like I mean they all are pretty much but this one like you feel it you feel it like when you're listening to it I mean he's already such like a deep person I guess I feel like this one in concert is going to be so like powerful and by the way I am going with my best friends to the show in, what is it, Raleigh, I think? Come just in my oh. It's so, so ending. I kind of actually had a feeling that I was going to love that one. Anyway, okay, next is El Tejano. Oh, wait, okay. I love music that like kind of sounds like, I guess, other cultures or something like that. I have no idea who Sofia Re Reyes is, but I can feel it in my bones. This one's going to be special. I'm not a girl, no. You know different in this one I love how he's singing like bro why is this my favorite one why is this my favorite one do you want to have a little bit of fun tonight she said oh yeah you know it does I met a girl out to her no we did she's from a sea I said so no we Dude, her verse was crazy. Oh my god. 
invisible things. reminds me of like it doesn't sound like it at all but it kind of reminds me of I like me better like that how there's like a break and then there's like a really cool sound I don't know That ending there. There is one song left. Now, may I just say, this is the song that I've been so, oh, mm, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't wanna cry, that I've been looking forward to the most out of all of them. And that is Julia. I love both of these artists. No, I, I believe he's referring to Julia Michaels. I sure hope so, or else I've been like dumb this whole time. You don't understand how big of a fan of Julia Michaels I am? Okay, ready? you know how seriously I take music like oh my god I love music so much mm. okay we're gonna try to calm down we're gonna use my sleeve <sighs> okay first of all since Julia wrote songs that were kind of like I don't know if they were bashing him but they weren't like good things about him on her new newish EP so since she wrote songs kind of like that I, I didn't expect him to write like an apology song. I'm still crying. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. These two people are my idols and like, first of all, point number one. I think that it's kind of a statement that this song is the last on the album. Wait, is it the very, okay, it's almost, it's almost the very last. It's, it's near the end. He's kind of like wrapping things up, like, in, in my mind, he's like ending a chapter or, I mean, just like finding peace in what happened between them or something. I don't want to say anything because like, I don't know anything about their relationship. Like it's between them, but it's just so sweet that he apologized, he, explain things about it. I just want to know like what she's thinking. I think since he didn't write this song for it to be like a bop or like a jam or something, it shows how genuine he actually is in the song. It's on piano, it's slowed down for sure, um, it's got like a long ending. I think that that really shows like how genuine it is, like he really means what he's saying. Um, 
That was emotional. That was different. I love that song and I have even more respect for him now. There are literally no skips on this album. Except Julia could be a skip if you're if you don't want to cry. But then again, I'm like super emotional about music specifically. Overall, I would rate this album a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Go listen to it. I guess I have to go now. Um, give this video a like and let's hope that my professor lets me into class. Okay, <laughs> bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. All of my purple eyeshadow, my light purple, is like smeared and... Bro, it was supposed to last the whole day. I'm doing another video later.